Peace squad, welcome back to this full stack course, building a digital marketing directory website, AKA a thumb tack clone. All right, so in our last video, we went over the design for our detail view for the marketer. What we're gonna go over in this video is how we would design a page that's a blog post. So these pages are meant to drive traffic to our website. So these are gonna be our keyword rich blog posts that's optimized for our keywords that's going to help to drive traffic to our site. We will be using Podium as our model for this. So this is the design page that, this is the page that we're going to design during this tutorial. Make sure that you guys stay tuned, okay? All right, let's start with our top, top header row. So this is something that's like uh, probably uh, above our main header row. So outrank your competitors. This is gonna be some type of call to action type of like mini banner, I'll call it. So that's at the top, you can exit off if you want to. Right under that is gonna be our like main header row. Um, looks like it is divided, uh, like we have probably like six columns over here, six columns over here. Over to our left left, we have our logo design, our solutions like that, very similar to the other design, uh, business types, um, so the people that they serve. Mind you, this is a blog post, um, pricing resources, all right, sales, login, watch demo, which I really like, and take a tour. So that's going to be our top header row. Right underneath it, we have some breadcrumbs. So we have probably the domain category and then this actually this actual uh, blog post that we have our nice, big uh, and bold um, our title full service marketing agency for small business. And remember, this is the keyword that we're actually trying to rate for. So right now, remember, if we were to remind ourselves, the keyword we're trying to actually rank for is a uh, digital marketing agency for small businesses near business near me. Okay. So this is the model of the blog post that we're going to be using. All right. So then we have right underneath our, uh, uh, basically like the uh, title of the article we have this little snippet planning to outsource your marketing it's probably the headline right here we have an icon for the calendar and when it was posted how long it takes for it to read and a little uh, clock icon over to the right we have our social media icon so we have our facebook we have our linkedin twitter uh, email and to share all right notice that this page is divided up so i would say this is it's a, i don't think this is six and six i think it's more like four uh, eight and four. So it's probably like four to this side and like eight over here. Um, so imagine that these are two different columns and then this column is divided into different rows and different sections. So we have our breadcrumb. Um, we have the title with the like headliner under it. Uh, we have some type of dividers here that has like the date, the read time and the socials right under this. We have our table of content. Um, so this will make it easier on the on the user experience as far as being able to navigate it. And if we click over here, boom, it has like the topics this is going to cover. Why hire a marketing agency? Types of marketing agencies, the ten best. So this is like one of those ones where it's listing the ten best marketing agencies, and it also is optimized for um, keywords related to digital marketing agencies for small businesses. All right, so we have an image right here. Uh, we have some paragraphs. Uh, we have our first, uh, like our next, like kind of like our, our subheaders right here. So why I hire a marketing agency, it's very good for keyword research stuff. All right, we have regular paragraph text and then we have our list. So this is a list of the reasons why you should hire a marketing agency. So that's definitely something we want to do. Um, I guess the styling is fine. It's just like a list. So it has like the actual like reason right here and it just has um, some paragraph text under it. So those are our 10 or six reasons. And then it has the types of marketing agencies also really good for SEO as far as styling goes. We just have this like uh, main, I want to say this is probably like an H2, H2 or H3. Um, there's different some type of uh, class and styling on this uh, for the title of the next section. So this is the types of marketing agency. This is definitely going to help out with SEO. It's a little bit right there. And then you have the five different types of marketing agencies with some information about that. And then finally, you get into the 10 best marketing agencies for a small business has a little bit of it, and then it actually lists out the different uh, agencies, right? So we have web, uh, web FX. So it's going to say the name and then I'm be surprised if they don't have a link off to their website. I'd be really surprised about that. All right. Uh, life marketing. All right. So this is just a list of the 10 best. So you have the number, um, you have the name in bold, and then you have some like paragraph text under it. 
Um, so yeah, these are the different ones. All right, boom, right here, streamline your entire business. So this is some sort of other like special section that we put here. You have watch demo, which I really like, uh, keep reading. All right, so these are gonna be our like, basically like related other posts, mind you. This po this page is meant to be a blog post, right? And then these are, I, I like the styling of this, so it's really simple. Um, so for keep reading, this is gonna be another section and it's gonna have blog posts. Notice these are related, marketing, SEO, marketing, all right? Very lead, leads, marketing, web check, very well done, all right? And the cards are pretty simple. You have uh, the image here. On the left, you have the category. On the right, you have when it's published, you have the title right here, and right under it, you have the short description, all right? So these are just different cards that we put there. I'm not gonna put this here, but they have their chat. Um, you have your next section here, get started now, I'm ready to grow, scale your business, and you have a BTN for watching demo. I really like that they keep emphasizing the fact that you can watch the demo. Um, you have your footer. Now on the right hand side, which I assume is probably around like four, is it a scrollable? It's like a sticky, I think. I think this is a sticky. So you have like where you can watch the demo. So there's some type of video here. Um, so you have the video, um, you have the watch, and I really want to get rid of this. I'm not going to have this here. All right. Um, yeah. Um, let me just click this. I'm just curious. Let's see what happens. So it clicks off into this. Eh, kind of disappointed. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, a little disappointed. All right. Either way. All right, guys. So we've just gone over the blog post uh, design page, the design of the blog post page that we're gonna have. So uh, we've gone over the directory. We've gone over the detail view. We've gone over the landing view and or the premium detail view. And now we've also gone over the uh, blog post that's gonna help drive the traffic that's keyword rich. And this is what we're also gonna use to get backlinks, all right? So we're gonna use this article to get backlinks from other people to drive more traffic to our site. And our last design video, um, this is another blog post that we're going to have. So we're gonna have two blog posts by the end of this. Um, this is not more about design. This is more so about like the different sections and the topics that uh, this blog post covers is another one of our top ranked ones. So in our next video, we're going to cover the topics of this web page. And uh, that's going to conclude uh, our design. Uh, and the next section, what we're going to do is actually begin to wireframe out. And we're going to start in Canva. That's right. All right, guys. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.